Hey guys, Sean here. Welcome to the F1 Word and to my Monaco Grand Prix preview. Now this weekend sees the 76th running of the famous race around the streets of Monte Carlo. And although it's not the most exciting in terms of overtaking, it certainly is a great spectacle and you can completely understand why it is seen as the jewel in F1's crown. Before we preview this weekend's Grand Prix, let's take a look at last year's race and it wasn't the most exciting by a long way. Kimi Raikkonen took pole on the Saturday with a lap time of a 112.178, but thanks to a very well-delivered overcut from Sebastian Vettel, the German went on to pip his teammate to victory on Sunday, and if you think back, Kimi Raikkonen did not look overly pleased on the podium. Sebastian Vettel also won driver of the day, and it was Sergio Perez who delivered the fastest lap with a 114.820. So as I said there, it wasn't the most exciting Grand Prix last year. It was pretty much as ever all down to strategy. But having watched the race highlights back this morning before doing this video, aside from that overcut that gave Vettel victory, Van Dorn and Ericsson driving straight on into the wall in Turn 1, and that accident down at Portier between Button and Verline, not a lot really happened. But one man who will be hoping for plenty of on-track action this weekend is hometown hero Charles Leclerc, who, if his social media is anything to go by over the last couple of days, is very excited about this weekend. Although he didn't fare well last year in F2, with DNFs in both the feature race and the sprint race. I don't think it's unreasonable to say that in 2018, the rookie is definitely improving race on race. He's a completely different driver to the one that rocked up in Australia, and back-to-back -back points will certainly have given him a massive boost in confidence. He's not technically my one to watch this weekend but definitely one to keep an eye on anyway. Looking at the track itself, then it is just over 3.3 kilometres long, or just over two miles if you prefer to work that way. There will be 78 laps on Sunday, and that translates to a race length of just over 260 kilometres, or 161.7 miles. So I don't expect that this weekend we're going to see a lot of overtaking, and often the race does end up as a bit of a procession, if we're being completely honest. As obvious as it sounds, that all comes down to the narrow track and the width of these cars, and it just makes overtaking near impossible. There are some opportunities for overtaking, though. Over the years, Sander Vox has proved popular, although it's still very difficult down there. The Nouvelle Chicane, just coming out of the tunnel and into that chicane, is probably the most likely place for a pass to happen. Drivers will, of course, try at Mirabeau and the hairpin, although moves at the hairpin are definitely a lot rarer now than they used to be. And as we saw last season with Button and Verline, overtaking at Portier is very risky. So strategy will be very key this weekend. Of course, the undercut can work very well, but as we saw last year, the overcut can also be very powerful. And accidents are very likely around Monaco, so full course safety cars and virtual safety cars will be key in any strategy decisions and could well, once again in 2018, decide the Grand Prix. Pirelli are taking their softest compounds this weekend with the Super Soft, the Ultra Soft and the debut for the Hyper Soft, a tyre which Daniel Ricciardo would like to see at more Grand Prix. I tend to agree with him on that one. And it is those pink marked tyres that have proved the most popular with drivers. The Red Bull, Williams and Renault drivers have all opted to take 11 sets of the Hyper Softs. Vettel and Raikkonen are each taking 10, something matched by the Four Senior drivers and the Sauber drivers as well as the Toro Rosso boys. With Mercedes opting for 9 sets, and McLaren and Haas mirroring that. Going into the Monaco Grand Prix weekend, and Toto Wolff has said he is bloody worried about the Silver Arrows pace versus Ferrari and Red Bull this weekend. Very briefly, he said, We've seen in the last years that there were always tracks that suited us well, and some that weren't perfect for whatever reason. It's very difficult to undo the DNA of a car, and Monaco, Budapest, Singapore were all tracks where we underperformed last year. It's a difficult one. Why our car doesn't like to be quick around the corners in Monaco, we haven't found out yet. So definite concern there from Toto Wolff. It is a track that generally suits Ferrari and Red Bull, but as we've said multiple times this season at just about every Grand Prix, they may be cautious in what they're saying, but you can never write off Mercedes. On that note, let's take a look at my one to watch this weekend, and I'm going to go with Daniel Ricciardo. He often goes well around Monaco and could have won in 2016 if Red Bull not completely messed up his pit stop and actually bothered to get the tyres ready for him. It is a track that is all about the chassis and downforce, so Red Bull should go well this weekend. I don't think they're going to have the one lap pace to compete in qualifying as such, although these extra engine modes that Mercedes and Ferrari apparently have will make a lot less difference in Monaco. 
But even so, their one lap pace does seem superior to Red Bull. But even if Daniel Ricciardo qualifies a little bit further back, if Red Bull can nail the strategy, and with his ability to pull off late, brave, daring moves, he could go well this weekend, and I wouldn't be surprised to see him on the podium. Before I go on to my predictions, let's have a look then what you think on Twitter earlier today. I did pop up a couple of polls briefly for you to vote on, and here are the results. 41% of you think that Sebastian Vettel will take pole on Saturday. 34% of you going with Daniel Ricciardo, 10% for Lewis Hamilton, and 15% for other. The most popular other option was Kimi Raikkonen, with Max Verstappen also getting a shout. But it was a close one for the race. 38% of you saying that Ricciardo will take the victory. 35% for Sebastian Vettel. Clearly you agree with Toto Wolff that they're going to struggle this weekend at Mercedes with just 7% of you thinking Hamilton will win on Sunday. And 20% for other. No prizes for guessing the two most popular drivers there. So that is what you think will happen this weekend. What are my predictions? Well, if you've been following the channel over the course of the season, you'll know I'm pretty terrible at this and have only got one right all season. As I touched on earlier in the video, I think Ferrari will have the one lap pace over Red Bull and Mercedes as well. So although I would love to guess at Kimi Raikkonen to take pole, I am going to go with Sebastian Vettel and I think he will convert that into the race win, but it's not going to be an easy one. To be honest, I kind of feel like it's a big weekend for Vettel in terms of his confidence. He's had a couple of bad results that have seen him lose ground on Lewis Hamilton in the World Championship, and he could really do with the win to get his season back on track. Of course, though, as we were saying about Hamilton a few races ago, there is still a long way to go this year. I'm going to stick my neck firmly on the line, and for all the reasons I said earlier, I'm going to put Daniel Ricciardo in second and Kimi Raikkonen in third. But as we've already seen at some races this year, it is going to be so close between that top three. And in terms of safety cars and retirements, I'm going to go with three safety cars and I'm going to go with five retirements. Some of those will be accidents, but of course, many drivers on the grid have gearboxes that are coming towards the end of their life. So reliability could be a factor. So that is it for the Monaco Grand Prix preview. Then what do you think is going to happen this weekend? Who's going to take pole on Saturday and who do you think will go on to win the race on Sunday? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. I will be back on Thursday with another video. And don't forget this weekend, things are changing a little bit in terms of scheduling. The qualifying report will still go up on Saturday shortly after the session finishes. But on Sunday, we will be live twice. The first stream will be at 1pm UK time and we're going to do a pre-race show to deliver some predictions and a little bit of quality talk as well and what we expect from the race and of course get your thoughts as well. And then around an hour to an hour and a half after the Grand Prix, we will be live with the Monaco Race Debrief. So make sure you come along to those streams, get involved and have your say. It'd be great to have you with us. But in the meantime, you can follow me on social media links to Twitter, Instagram, Facebook and to Discord are all in the description down below. But as ever, thank you for watching. I've been Sean. This has been the F1 Word. And until next time, goodbye.